So hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So previous video we have uh, saw the uh, review of this uh, Infinity Warriors X 3.0, which is released on 15th July. So now we have almost uh, August 3, the latest update. So we will be going to install this on our device. So first and foremost, uh, if I go to the what uh, settings and uh, go to system and uh, inside here you have the system update so here you have the system update so if i refresh it uh, the latest updates are coming but the problem is this is really really slow so what i did is i just directly went to uh, telegram and i found the latest one and i just clicked download okay and i downloaded the latest one in my device itself so here you can select android 16 and download okay so you will get the what uh, latest android uh, if you go here inside the files you have the latest android uh, 16 one so you can download it so i have uh, downloaded it in uh, here so and i am uh, keeping it in my internal storage here you can see so i am just going to manually go ahead and uh, uh, download this because uh, this doesn't seems to be uh, downloading that fast so even i can select this here local update and then i can go to this uh, redmi this one and i can uh, select directly so which will directly import the file in here and it will do the ot update but uh, i don't think i will be i can do that so yeah be because when we are installing it installed orange fox uh, recovery so so uh, we can directly go ahead and install it on our orange fox recovery so how we can do it well uh, just uh, turn it off uh, restart to recovery usually i won't do updates uh, through this option but we'll try it today because last time when i was doing for some other device uh, through this local update uh, through the uh, inbuilt updater it got failed now we are in the orange fox recovery so our device is actually uh, encrypted so it will ask the password or uh, pin pattern so you can put the pattern once you put the pattern it will try to uh, decrypt so my device is decrypt and here you can see uh, project infinity x is there so i can un unwound system and vendor so after uh, reboot installation after installation complete so i can do that but it's fine okay so usually uh, we have seen that uh, the custom roams uh, will install in the opposite partition or inactive partition but uh, this device doesn't have uh, those ab partition concepts so it will install in the same partition so yeah here you can see that uh, we have this uh, android uh, <laughs> it's showing android 11 uh, sdk 36 uh, that is fine so fingerprint all the things are there so by the time it is getting installed we'll change the uh, we'll see the change log like uh, in uh, 28th uh, july they have added the miua camera and by default ksu kernel so now uh, they have uh, moved to to brute uh, exactly kernel and they have added the leica camera on 15th uh, august so few days back and by default ksu kernel so these are some of the change log so uh, now it looks fine so i can just directly reboot the system so the update process is uh, simple yeah it's booting especially fine yeah it's booted successfully let me unlock it's loading now Uh, looks fine it has to show this uh, yeah finishing system update yeah so system update got finished so if you open to settings and go to about phone and android version so it is still uh, 3.0 official uh, but uh, still uh, the Android security patch is uh, 5th July 2025 so it's not August and here you can see the kernel has changed to uh, to brood exotic so there will be some performance uh, changes or something we don't know exactly but the kernel version is uh, same 356 uh, 14.14.356 uh, so what are the other uh, changes like uh, instead of uh, MIUI camera they have included this uh, Leica camera so now still is that issue resolved I don't know 1080 60 yeah now this uh, 108060 is uh, uh, working fine let me just record a few videos or something yeah it's not opening 
so I will just directly open photos and check this. Let me just record a few videos or something. Yeah. So 1080p 60 uh, FPS option got fixed in this update because they have introduced to this. Uh, we oh, can't connect to camera. It got some issue. So still <laughs> it is buggy. I don't know. Yeah, it's working. Sometime working, sometime not. 4K 30, 60 it won't work. But they still kept that option. So the good thing is we have 24 FPS option also. That's a good thing. And uh, photo and all other things. But is it working? Uh, all this yeah. it is working front camera also working so yeah overall it is uh, fine and uh, there is no any problem just to let me check if uh, we have the uh, read write operations are uh, there so let me just go to internal and uh, create one file or folder hello uh, getting it's getting creator no issues where is this all over? Okay, inside that one file I'll create. Test dot. Okay, it's getting created. No issues. So file wise, it is working. And what else I can test? Is it still has the what integrity? So let me go ahead and check. Go to settings here. Yeah, device is certified. Still certified. Yeah, play integrity fix where it is. Also, you would no need to uh, check the integrity again and again. If you check again and again, it may fail. They will uh, blacklist. So, yeah, overall, all the things are working fine. These apps and uh, other things also working. So, there isn't any uh, expected problem. So, OTA is working. You can go ahead and uh, uh, try with the OTA. So, yeah, that's what about uh, this video of uh, doing the OTA with the uh, latest one. If we get any update, yeah, we need to check that, right? So, let me go to system and uh, check uh, system updates yeah, there is no update so yeah that's what about uh, this video thank you for watching leave a like if you like it and subscribe to this channel so i will be following up with this uh, custom room and if you want a review of this latest one let me know i will again do the all the performance testing so still these uh, results are there i will share it with you all so yeah quote motor.